teammate about Attention. all of the things they've done well. Go. And we can see that we're away now in the Town Challenge Cup. Denmark's Ruhr Centre, Denmark versus Leander Club A crew. Leander just moving a little close towards the boys, but that'll be because they're used to being pushed out. There's been a bit of wind, particularly with these headwind conditions around Temple Island, which a few crews, even the Cox crews, have struggled with. So no doubt preempting that as we ride here with the Danish crew on the left-hand side of the screen. Yeah, the Danish crew, they raced in the World Cup uh, in Belgrade. They finished second there as the Danish national team entry. Here we see them with this crew from Leander Club in front of us. That looks like about a half a length at the top of the island. As you say, yeah, it's uh, Sam Corti in the bow seat of this Leander crew. She's got the rudder attached to her foot. So we saw them going away from the island uh, from the start. A few little corrections. They'll then come out from the top of the island. And again, we've got to tell you, it's quite windy on the Henley course. So you can see those flags in the background, um, which will push them a little bit. Might be a need for a bit of steering and some corrections. Um, and have we ever look at this? Can hear the umpire. What's going on there, Sarah? Yeah, we could hear a warning to Denmark, so that we assume that the Danish crew has meandered towards the middle of the course. Of course, both crews need to stay on their stations. Denmark in the bark station and currently moving back towards the boom. So they'll just need to get themselves straight. And it's really important to keep the steering straight, isn't it, Greg? Because any of those corrections wipe speed off, take a bit of momentum off, and particularly in the fore, can unsettle the balance of the boat as well. Absolutely. So it's uh, Astrid Steenberg in the stroke seat who steers the Danish crew. So as you say, um, the umpire, Richard Phelps, I think it was, asked her to correct. She's moved the boat back onto the station as we get this lovely picture with this data in front of us. 37 strokes per minute, the Danish crew. Leander a couple of points lower at 35 strokes per minute, so the Danes really driving it forward. So a lovely thing you watch here. Look at the flag on the right. The person holding the yellow flag under that marker, number one, they're going to drop that flag any second now. And the uh, stewards in the back of the launch will take their signal from that to take the time for the barrier, which then gets reported back, which the crowds will hear in the grandstands. They're just a nice shot of one of those little lovely things about Henley, the way we time these races. You can see in that umpire's launch following, it's Richard Phelps at the front and it's the timers who are at the back with those watches, as we can see uh, the, the Danish crew here, Sarah. What do you think now? Yeah, it looked like the Danes were starting to really move into the centre of the course. Leander moving away from them, wanting to make sure they're not going to get tangled up here and have any issues. We've seen a couple of re-rows, but we can see, as we expect, Richard Phelps, the umpire, putting his flag up and steering Denmark back onto their side of the station. Well, the Danish are going to have to make a bit of a move there to get back onto the station because um, they were, they'd really swayed out into the middle. You can get some advantage by doing that because you're sending your dirty water down onto the Leander Club crew. But it's cer certainly something that needs to be corrected, and we can see from this angle they have responded to that pretty effectively. Yeah, a little correction there from Leander as well, who were making their way towards the booms. But we can see pretty relaxed determination on the face of Izzy Hawes behind her, Isabel Powell, Juliet Perry, Sam Corti making up the Leander Club A crew. They're going to have a big task here to overturn the Danes. The Danes were in the women's eight that won the silver medal in Poznan at the World Cup, the first time that the Danish have ever had a women's eight on the podium, which is very exciting for their program and a big rebuilding phase for the Danes. Yeah, big step up for them there as we see the crews now coming towards that halfway point. You can see it. Uh, they're through that now, coming towards the three-quarter mile. Lovely picture of the scale of the course you can see how this course is put in with those uh, wooden pylons and then the booms to try and protect the crews, keep this water as calm as possible. So as it gets busier with launch washes, the race course is protected. Really difficult conditions. You get a bit of an appreciation, I think, when you see that water level view. Really bumpy out there. It's pretty breezy, pretty gusty this morning. There's not too many pleasure craft out on the water just yet, so these crews this morning are probably going to have the best of those conditions. But we see Leander just heading back over towards the booms. They're going to have to straighten up to make sure that they don't come unstuck. They're riding with the race leaders. It is Denmark, 34 strokes per minute, 33 strokes per minute, so really starting to ease into their race rhythm now, Greg. 
Yeah, the fan that race rhythm, you can see the data there. They'll want to keep it ticking along at something like that 34 strokes a minute. It's pretty good into this kind of headwind. And um, taking a look, some good athletes in there in the in the two seat. Uh, Marie Johansson, she was a handball player in her early life, uh, but she was uh, talent spotted only in 2020 and switched to rowing uh, when she was seen in the gym by another rower. He said, you're built for this sport. And now here she is competing in the Danish national team, competing at Henley. Riding here with the crew from Leander. We saw Sam Corti there calling to her crew. They're down on 32 strokes per minute. Probably going to be a little bit heavy in these headwind conditions, 32 really start to get into that muscly, slow, heavy rhythm. So I think we can see it's popped up there to 33. And as Greg said earlier about the Danes, you're wanting to stay on that 33, 34, keeping the boat lively, keeping it moving, not letting it get too, too heavy and slow. And Leander had a tough day yesterday. They raced against crew from Australia. Um, they had a tough battle all the way down the course. So you think how that might take it out on them. I think they even had a delay before the race. It was a bit of an incident before the start. So, um, yeah, they've had to warm up twice yesterday. Yeah, we saw yesterday morning they were scheduled to row. There was uh, a breakage in the Australian crew or an incident, I think, on the way to the start. So both crews paddled back down, rescheduled to midday. And then the Australians just leading actually ran into the boom just before the finish line, which gave the Leander Club the win. But uh, that's what it's all about here, putting pressure on because anything can happen, even a matter of strokes from the end. And we've seen it plenty of times before. Crews making really significant mistakes and, and opening that door. So it's not over till it's over. And they're still rowing very well. Looking at this Leander Club crew, the boat surging along, moving pretty well. They're coming towards that phase, you can see past the bushes, and you can just see how windy that is there um, in the exposed areas of the course coming down now towards the enclosures. The Danish crew looking like they're in control, but the stroke rates maybe come down a little bit, but pretty calm and, and uh, still working it hard, keeping it together, keeping it efficient. You don't want to have any little breaks in the chain right now, so everyone moving well there. Yeah, it looks like the Danes are feeling really comfortable, as you say, Greg really starting to row into their rhythm here. They're looking long, strong, relaxed through the shoulders, moving together comfortably. Yeah, I've got them about 30 strokes a minute now, so they've been able to just ease off it that little bit and uh, just make sure they're sitting back against the headwind as they're coming towards the line. Probably only about 10 strokes to go now. As we can see them approaching us here in the commentary position, Coming up to the line in front of the stewards, already a crowd starting to build in the enclosures this morning. Gusty conditions for this Saturday, day five at Henley Royal Regatta 2022. First race of the day, the Town Challenge Cup, Denmark's Row Centre from Denmark. So the end of crossing the line there. And a very professional performance, I think, from the crew from Denmark. They'd be really pleased to have got that done first thing in the day. Um, so confirmation there, that win for the Danish Rose Centre against Leander Club.